see what happens, shall we? Honestly, don't know what I'm doing at the moment. And now, I see if this is working. How do I know if this is working or not? Oh, hey, so someone's here. So that's good. I have no idea how to do this. I'm just playing with it. Let's see. I wonder, is my volume okay? Not sure if my volume's good or not. I will be doing a makeup declutter later. I'm just kind of testing out this video streaming thing. I know a couple of people that have been doing this and I think it's really great. Hey! Now I'm wondering, is it echoing? I'm not completely sure. I guess I can do a quick declutter right now since I think this gets uploaded onto my channel. So I wanted to share with y'all that I went through my 17 in 2017 lip product project pan. The volume's a little low. Okay, hold on. Let me see what I can do. Does that sound better? Yeah, the quality is just through my Dell computer. I don't know how to fix that. I don't have my camera set up with it, so it's not coming through my actual Sony camera that I have. So I'm definitely not doing swatches, that's for sure. Let me know if that sound sounds a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you guys, like I said, I was going through a buzz sound. I wonder if that's just my computer. Let's see. Thank you guys for helping me with this. Once I figure all this out, then I'll be able to do these better. I'm just kind of playing, trying to figure it out right now. I think that might just be my computer. Maybe I'll need to do this through my camera and not my computer. Yeah, that's like the air vent or something. Let me see if I turn the volume down a little bit. Does that sound better? Let me know. Hi, Carrie. Well, let me share with you guys. I'll do a better video next time, but I did want to share. I did declutter and go through some of my Finish 17 in 2017 lip product project pan, and I noticed that some of these things are going bad, so I wanted to let you guys know what I am actually decluttering from that, and then I am pulling some new lippies into the mix. So, you guys will know 
I got these from a giveaway and these are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. I had the shades Devotion, Addiction, and Seduction. These have a really strong scent to them, but the scent is turning and I started using this a little bit this week and I'm not a big fan of the scent of these anymore. I definitely think that they're going bad. I got this from a giveaway in like 2015, so they're a couple of years old. So I'm definitely going to declutter these and not worry about them in this project. There's no point in keeping them. And then I'm really upset about this one because I was starting to really like it and then I got a good look of it. This is the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in Vivid Rose and it's a gorgeous color but I've noticed that there's like little black dots on it and I know you're probably not going to be able to see it with the camera but there's like little tiny black dots so I know I got this before I got the Revlon matte lip color so I don't want to still use this when I know that there's a couple black dots on it and yeah that's just kind of gross and then I had a Nivea A Kiss of Moisture this was in that project as well and I got this like early 2016 and I'm just looking at it and it just kind of looks gross it has like other lip products gunk on there things like that and I just yeah I can just get a better lip balm this wasn't that expensive so I am going to declutter it and then what's really interesting is this is a newer purchase I got in December it's the L'Oreal Paris collection exclusive and the shade is Julianne now I'm not sure if this product like just always smells like this. If you guys have L'Oreal lipsticks, let me know down below. But the scent of this already, like I put it on the first couple times I got it in December and then I put it on again this month and it just smells weird. These L'Oreal lipsticks just smell really gross. But the shade was gorgeous. I said I wouldn't swatch because you wouldn't be able to see it. But it's like a really nice nudie pink shade, but this just smelled kind of gross. So yeah, I'm decluttering those. Thank you guys again so much for watching and helping me with the sound and everything. I just hope everything's still going pretty good. I know it's like 5.30 dinner time for some people on the East Coast. That's where I am. But you know, I just kind of wanted to get on here while there was daylight and just play with the live stream, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure. Hold on, let me get these other lippies out. Okay, so in place of those Revlon ones and the Maybelline Vivid Rose, I am going to replace it with the, this is the Kat Von D, what is this, what are these called? Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Melancholia. I got this for Christmas like two years ago and I haven't really reached for it that often, so this will go into there. I'll play with it more and see if I want to declutter, things like that. Then then I have a, another NARS lip pencil. I love the NARS lip pencils. They are seriously the best stuff in the world, but they're really not the best ingredients if you look into them. But this is the shade Luxembourg. It is really, really bright. Hey, Dallin. How do you say your name? Dalen? Dallin? Not 100% sure. And I keep... I actually mentioned you in a vlog coming up, and I just don't know how to say your name 100%. So let me know. But yeah, this is just me playing around. I really appreciate all you guys, like I said, for watching. I'm just playing. I'm definitely going to do this update video in better quality so you can see swatches, things like that. But I just wanted to play a little bit. Day Daylene. Is that how you say it? Daylene.
Um, I'm also adding the Clinique Long Lasting Glossware. This is a lip gloss I got for Christmas this past Christmas. Perfect. Yay. I'm glad I got it right. Yay. Um, this is a lip gloss, like I said, that I got for Christmas. I haven't reached for it that often. It doesn't have a scent to it, but it is fragrance free. So I haven't tried it on my lips yet, but I am going to try it. Aw, oh, thanks. It's Shruti. I love doing my hashtag 365 days of samples. Let me let me tell you guys, I decluttered the crap out of that sample box. I seriously went through, took a lot of stuff that was not cruelty free. I went between Logical Harmony and Cruelty Free Kitty. And I went back and forth to try and figure out what was cruelty free or not because I was debating if I would want to use it if it was cruelty free or not and really I have friends and family that don't purchase a lot of makeup and skincare so I'm just going to give it to them. I actually have family coming tomorrow so I am definitely going to let them go through the box and some other stuff. So I still have a lot for my 365 days of samples but I'm definitely going more towards the cruelty free angle and whenever I bring in stuff like I just got my Sephora play box. And actually, a lot of them were cruelty-free, so that was pretty good. Um, and then the other two lipsticks are actually maybe cheating lipsticks. Oh, there, I have three lipsticks that I'm adding. These are baby lipsticks. And there are two Sephora ones and one Marc Jacobs. This is the So Rouge. Ooh, I almost dropped that. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. No, no, no. This is the So Rouge, that's what I meant. I have Kiss Kiss Bang Bang too. But this was a VIB Rouge gift that you get when you reach Rouge. I think this was two years ago or last year. No, two years ago because last year was the NARS Gooly or Gulu. I have no idea how all of the YouTubers do this live streaming because I see myself and I'm talking way back and... I had to turn my volume down all the way down to mute and I have no idea if this is working. I hope it's working so thanks for hanging in there. And then the other two are little Sephora lipsticks I got from some Sephora play boxes. Um, this is in the shade number 14 and again like I said I'll film a better video of this. Hi Sandra, how are you? And then this next one was R49. So it looks like that. So it's a red and a pink. So I definitely have like a mixture of new products in here. Yeah, I'm seeing myself doing something on the screen. And then there's the live chat. So I'm trying to read. And then actually, you actually have to have another program in order to do this. So I, I give props to Jacqueline and I give props to Jen from Jen Loves Reviews for doing this every week. Um, she didn't do it this Sunday, so I was like, mm, I'm going to try doing a live chat and just see how it works. So, yeah, that's the interesting stuff. Let me... Oh, thanks. Now, Day Naked, that is a pretty cool name. A very cool name. I also just recently did, like, cleaned up my makeup collection and my vanity. So let me know if you guys are interested and I can do a tour of that in another video. Don't think I'll be able to do that on this computer because I would have to like balance it and stuff and that's just kind of crazy. But I can definitely do that in the future. But yeah. So unless you guys have any questions for me, that's just kind of, I was just trying to test out this system and figure out how this YouTube live stuff works. And I'm going to go and film that kind of update again tomorrow. I have other videos coming this week. But yeah, this is kind of fun. Minus three letters. Dana Kendall. That is so cool. I really like it. Okay, I see it. Dana Kendall. Okay, got it. That is very cool. Yeah, I'll definitely do a makeup collection. I haven't really done a makeup collection before. I tried to do one, 
I think I did one last January or not this past January, but like two Januarys ago and then one last year, but it was kind of like a collection declutter kind of thing just overall. But I feel like every time I do a collection, everyone wants me to declutter like half the stuff. And that's not the point of why I want to do this makeup collection, just to kind of show you guys how I store everything and what I have. Um, I know Day Daylene, what sounds so bossy? Oh, oh that you want to see a makeup collection? Oh no, I'll do one for sure. Um, now I know Daylene, if you guys don't watch her, you need to go to her channel. But she has been doing a collection sub subgenre, is that the word? I don't know. So Jonna, where she basically shows you all her highlighters, all her blushes, all like eyeshadows, and I think there's a couple other people doing it that way. So do you want to see like an overview where you look down in my collection in my drawers and I kind of show you that way? Or do you want to see me just like showing you guys swatches and the products like go through blushes and bronzers one day and then highlights? I don't have like a crazy amount of products. I do have, I mean, a good bit. I mean, more than like my my friends in real life and my family members, things like that. But I don't know if you guys want which way you want to see it. So let me know. Let me know, and I'll film it that way. Um, I have Copper. I don't know if you guys seen Copper. He's sleeping on the left side of me, and then Todd is in the shade. Oh, he's so cute. On the right side. Let me see if I can get you guys to see him. Probably not. But we're gonna we're gonna see if I can do it. Let's see. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's Todd. Sleeping in the sun. And then this might not be as pretty. There's there's copper. Copper just went to the groomers, and I know my lighting is horrible in here. That's why I film in the daytime, and it's like sun is setting. Um, to see videos with swatches. Okay, I can do videos with swatches. So I might break it down then, like everyone else is doing, and not do like a complete over. Okay, here's what here's what I can do. I will do a overview looking down in my collection. But then I will, like, really fast. And then I will do, like, the breakup video. So you can see the actual products in my collection and swatches, things like that. In better, like, with my better camera in the daytime when the sun's not setting. Because, watch, watch what happens when I open this blind. Oh. Feel like I'm, like, blinded by the light. The sun like literally sets right here. And I know that looks horrible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut that now. Whew. Your kitties are flying around all over the place. Yeah, Copper and Todd were just playing. I have family members coming, so I was making all the beds in my house. And so they were all like going under the sheets and the comforters, under the bed, just playing around, having fun. So now they're just wiped out. And Copper even too, he went to the groomers earlier today and he, he had a blast. There was apparently a large Doberman and he was crying and crying and the groomer said like Copper would put his little face into the crate and like make him feel better. And so when I went to go get Copper today, they, like, he, like, looked back at the Doberman. The Doberman started crying for him. And I was like, you're such a sweet puppy. Like, you're helping other dogs get over their mommy and daddy's being gone. It was just really cute. Hi, Ermedida? 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 I mean, know how to say your name. I'm not 100% sure. I have no idea. But, yeah. Oh, I think I paused it. So, okay, so we got collection videos coming. Oh, today I used a 
organic natural hair mask and it was actually a hot oil hair mask fast asleep that's all they do all day <laughs> I wish my dog and cat slept all day Todd normally sleeps all day but he is out and about oh but let me go get that hair mask hold on and yes I'm wearing pajamas well pajama bottom Okay, so, ooh. so this is from St. Tropica. It is the Organic Coconut Hot Oil Hair Mask. I got this from a Pettivore or a Petite Vore box. It is a all cruelty-free, vegan, organic, natural ingredients, all the stuff that we really should be doing and liking and using. Um, subscription box. It's about $15 a month. I did pay for mine. I'm not getting it like free or anything. I'd let you guys know. But um, I just tried this today. And like I said, it's a hot oil hair mask. So you basically... Thank you so much, Rudy. Have a good one. Thanks. Um, you basically lay this flat into your microwave and you heat it up for 20 seconds and then you apply it into your hair. It says for a minimum of 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Let me see. Minimum of 20 minutes. Best results leave overnight. And literally, this stuff, guys, I have like one of those hair turban hair wraps. And I put it in my hair. I put it on my hair. And then I let it kind of do its thing for about two hours. Had lunch. I'm actually off of work today. So I had lunch, cleaned around the house, that kind of stuff. And then I washed this out. You have to use shampoo twice. And then condition your hair. And I... My hair, all I did was blow dry it after, and my hair feels so, like, smooth. I thought this was going to weigh my hair down, but it didn't. My hair just definitely, like, gave me some brunk going on. But, yeah, I thought this was really cool. So, I'm not, I think one, one of these is $5, and then from Pettivore's website. And then you can get a three-pack for 15 like, or I could just get one pack for three. It's the same price. I thought it would be cheaper if you get the three pack, but not. But yeah, I have a review and demo coming up on this. But spoiler alert, I really like this. Like the ingredients are organic virgin coconut oil, organic coconut butter, organic coconut fruit extract, organic biotin, organic horsetail, organic amala, whatever that word is, organic hibiscus, and organic green tea. Like seriously, this is the best. Have I tried the Hask hair mask? I have not. Where can you get those? Are they good? Have you tried them? I've tried, okay, for hair masks, I've tried this one. I've tried the Moroccan infusion one that everyone was like crazy over. I've tried like more deep conditioner kind of stuff like the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I've tried a Tresemme one. I've tried the L'Oreal one. But literally, my favorite favorites are Aussie Three Minute Miracle. That one's cheap, but it's not cruelty free. And I really liked this one. Now I wouldn't use this all the time. I'd probably use it once a month, just because you do have to let it sit for a minimum twenty minutes. I don't know if if I were to have used this for maybe tw only twenty minutes, I don't know if it would have been like that big of a difference on my hair, or if I used it all night. I just kind of and do two hours and I really liked it so yeah that was something new but okay here's another thing to talk to you guys about you ready for this I got the Nicole Guerrero palette Walgreens or Target Kind of curly. Okay, so my hair is a mixture between like wavy, curly, and straight. So it's a curl wa straight, I guess, if I want to make up a word. Um, like I said, all I did was blow dry my hair for this. Um, I'll try the Hask hair. 
I don't know if they're cruelty free though. I'm trying to only buy cruelty free items. So I'll have to look Hask up from Cruelty Free Kitty or Logical Harmony. And then if it is, I'll give that one a go. The Brio Geo one. The Brio Geo one's pretty good. Um, I tried, are you talking about the Don't Despair Repair? Because that one, that one's okay. I feel like this one was definitely more conditioning and I do like that Brio Geo, even though it's not on Cruelty Free Kitty or Logical Harmony, they are cruelty free. Um, what's funny is I actually had a job with Brio Geo for probably like two months. It wasn't, it wasn't long. Um, it was just kind of. I don't want to say sketchy. It's kind of sketchy. Let's just say that. Let's be real with you guys. So I, it was supposed to be for a brand ambassador. I had to film a video, and oh, I didn't mention Amika. Okay, well let me. Okay, I'll talk about Amika real quick. So Amika, I think. Oh yeah, I tried that one in a sample Sunday, and that one was good. But I feel like daily there was an ingredient in there that I wasn't supposed to use. That EWG, if you guys don't look up ingredients, EWG.org is like a beauty site or they, you can do skincare, fragrance, everything. Basically, you can just type in the product and sometimes it's there. Majority of the time, it's not. So I take the ingredients and I like type them out and now I have a spreadsheet with like good ingredients, green ingredients, and red ingredients that are bad. And I think the Amika one actually had something wrong with it. Not wrong with it, but like a hazard ingredient. Or maybe that was just the dry shampoo. But I did really like the Amika one. The Amika one smelled good. This one smelled like coconut and... Okay, you're going to think this is weird, but it smelled like coconut flavored popcorn. Which I've never had, but it smelled a little bit like popcorn. Or maybe it was my imagination because I was using a microwave. But, I don't know. But yeah, that Amika one, I'll have to look into it again because I can't remember I know the dry shampoo for sure had that ingredient but I don't know okay real quick back to the Brio Geo so I filmed a video to say I want to be a brand brand ambassador for Brio Geo so basically that position you would go into Sephora's I would have been the Brio Geo ambassador for all North Carolina stores and I would go to all the Sephora stores, talk about the product, have sales goals, things like that. So I was pretty excited. I interviewed like in November, no, yeah, end of November. And then I didn't hear anything back from her in just the rest of November and December. So then at the end of December, I called the girl back and I was like, hey, what's going on? And she said I had the job and that was exciting. I was really excited. But then she didn't like give me any more information for the job. So towards the middle to end of January, she gave me like this big shout out letter list of like all the things I needed to do and the sales goals that I had, but there was no training. Like it was basically a virtual training, but I didn't get anything to train on. It was basically a whole bunch of slide show PowerPoints on how to act at Sephora because Sephora has a lot of rules and regulations, things like that. So I just kind of told the Brio Geo people, thank you, but no thank you. It just didn't seem like the right fit for me. I do still like Brio Geo, but it was just weird. I wouldn't be a brand ambassador for them because it was a lot of miscommunication going on for that. But, yeah. So, yeah, I just recently got Nicole Guerrero palette. And this palette is pretty cool. Let me see if that light helps. I have like a little ring light mirror thing. But I definitely, next time I do this, if it's this light in the day, I'm going to have to get better lighting in here. Or, no, I said I would use my camera. That's what I do. But if you guys have not checked this out, I think right now it is sold out online at Sephora. But we all know recently with limited edition stuff that it is it will come back it will definitely come back this stuff is so gorgeous though um if you guys want to see swatches and stuff now i'm going to be doing a highlighter collection of swatches 
video, but I've actually, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I actually use the shade 143 as a highlight. How do I like the palette? Okay, so it is pretty dark. It looks dark, but it's really not. So I've, I'll try and do a highlighter swatch video for you guys, or I can do a whole review on this palette. But like I said, I use 143. It is a little bit golden. You're not going to see with my lighting. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? But I used that as a highlight the other day. And I can maybe use it today. My husband's not home yet. He'll come home a little later. Maybe I can use that. But I find that it's not that dark. I find that it's, I mean, it depends how light you are. But for me, I would say I'm like light to medium, depending on the sun, how much sun I get, but I really like it. Or you can use it as like a bronzer type topper, things like that. Um, they definitely have more lighter shades like Forever Lit. I don't know if you can see that. Why am I swatching? I have no idea. Um, which is more of a white and then kitty cat. So they definitely swatch a lot lighter than it looks in the pan and it's gorgeous. Now I don't have any of the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, so I can't say anything to that. I just know this is the one that I gravitated towards the most. I didn't really gravitate towards a lot of the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. But this one just looked really great. And then once I swatched it, I knew I loved it. And I'm pretty happy about it. Pretty happy. Are there any good TV on today, guys? I'm like so random. In real life, I'm really random. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Let me get a tissue. Okay, that lipstick, was that what I swatched? I can't remember what I swatched. I swatched something and definitely must have been a lipstick because it will not come off. But, and my lips are coming. My lips. Okay, so I'm... You're fair. Oh. Okay, you're going to think I'm stupid, but where's Newfoundland? Like, where in the country is that? I'm, or is that in the United States and I'm just being really dumb? There's negative 5 degrees and snowing. Winds up to one side. I wouldn't even step outside. I would stay inside. Like, right now, it is here in North Carolina. It was, like, the high of 34. Let's ask. Let's ask Siri. Siri, what's the weather out? Okay, so I just started getting using Siri. It's hilarious. I got a new phone, and Siri says it is 39 degrees. The highest 39 here, and the lowest 24. I think that's freezing. So negative five in Canada. Oh my gosh. Do you do you guys go outside? Do you have bonfire fires every time you go outside? Like that is really cold. Really cold. I keep my house at like 64 to 68 degrees, and that's pretty much, oh, there's something else I'm decluttering, guys. I forgot. I'll probably do another declutter video so you guys can actually see, but, oh no, it's sticking to my vanity. Always have gray clouds, no, and rain, no sun in the UK. That's sad. I have sun. We actually was raining here a lot the past two days. We haven't had a lot of snow. Snow. We haven't had a lot of rain in a while or snow. We had like a light snow on Sunday morning and it was gorgeous and it melted in like a second. And then oh, that's pretty much it. I feel like we're in a drought even though it's not like publicized that we're in a drought. But every time I pass by like lakes, it is always... Like, you can see that there should be a lot more water to it. That's what I'm saying. But, um, the other thing I'm decluttering, this was in my Roland Project pan. But this is the Champagne Fizz Eyeshadow by Maybelline. I got this, guys, in, like, 2014, 2015. And, hold on, I think my computer's dying. And this has no pigmentation. Like, on my finger it does, but on my eyes it just goes away. So I'm not too happy about that. So 
So I know I have a lot of other kind of champagne-y eyeshadows, things like that. So I'm not going to worry too much about this 4 or $5 Maybelline eyeshadow. I'll worry more about my Urban Decay and my Too Faced. And that kind of stuff. So I am decluttering this and this will be gone. Gone zoo. Hey baby. Oh, that's probably like feeding me, mommy. The winds are so strong. What? Transport trucks blew over. Top level of a house blew away. That is ridiculous. Okay, okay. That was Todd. He's like, get off me, mommy. That's ridiculous. I know, like, sometimes when I'm driving on the highway, the winds are, like, really strong so that I'll, like, swerve off the road. Not, like, legit swerve, but you can feel it when you're driving. And that scares the crap out of me. I think either, one, I have a flat tire. That's first instinct. I have a flat tire. Or two, like, I don't know. I think of the wind, but it's just kind of, it scares me so much. State of emergency, though. That, that's scary. We were in a state of emergency during, I think it was Hurricane Matthew. It, like, there was so much rain, and we were in a drought before, and I still think we're in a drought. But there was so much rain that the dam close to us, well, not really close, like 30 minutes away, was going to break. And they had to tell all of the people to move and, like, get all their important stuff out of their houses and go drive away. Oh, Todd is chasing the light. Um, but yeah, that was scary. So I hope you stay safe. Because that's just scary. Copper, you being such a good boy. I'm going to tell you the truth. Copper is literally always laying where I showed you guys. Or under my vanity when I film. So. That's where he is. A little sneaky peeky. Let me get some of this. Sparkling ass water. If you guys have not tried sparkling ass water, it is seriously the best. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I buy these like every day. If you guys watch my vlogs, I started doing vlogs when I hit my 2,000 subscriber video count because a lot of you guys were interested in my daily life. So I've been doing them. I do them here and there. I'm going to warn you guys. I filmed yesterday and I filmed me going to Target and I got this four package, which I didn't show you guys what I got in this because I don't know why I can show you the main thing but um it's literally after editing like a 40 minute video I didn't think I filmed that much in my life was entertaining but I definitely filmed a 40 minute video pineapple coconut oh my gosh that's seriously my favorite too I like pineapple coconut then my other one is kiwi strawberry and then there's one other one, the red one, strawberry lemonade or strawberry watermelon. I can't remember. But those are like my three go-to. Everyone keeps telling me I need to drink the peach one. I think it's like peach nectar, and I don't like that one as much. Hurricane Matthew flooded. Oh, my gosh. You poor thing. Weather does not like you, does it? Now, where are you from again? Where are you... Did you say earlier where you were? I might have forgotten. In Canada. Crazy. You get some crazy weather in Canada. That is for sure. You need to do some vlog videos. That'd be entertaining. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to turn this off. It's getting a lot darker. I feel like I can see my picture and I'm pretty dark. But I'm like not too dark now. So next time I do this, I will have my camera. So hopefully you won't hear like the humming. Because I know I still hear the humming. So y'all definitely hear the humming. I'll have my camera. I'll have it earlier in the daytime. Maybe I'll do like a Saturday morning or something. Or like earlier in the morning. I don't know how many of y'all are housewives, but we can do it early in the morning because my schedule is all over the place. Excuse me. 
But yeah, that's kind of what I'll be doing. I just wanted to try this out, see what it looked like, things like that. Give you guys a sneaky peeky because I feel like a lot of y'all aren't going to watch. Well, y'all are watching, but a lot of other people won't watch this live feed after it's done, especially with the quality. But I really do appreciate that you guys are here. And I thank you guys so much for coming. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.